It all started just over 30 years ago when the first North Sea oil was brought ashore. Uh, we will be, in time, uh, one of the ten largest oil producing countries in the world. Thirty years later, I wanted to know how our black gold would shape Scotland's future. How much do we have left and how long will it last? My quest took me to the Claymore platform. It's been standing in the North Sea for 30 years and has been owned by Talisman Energy for the last eight. We said that we start doing some drilling work or whether it's intervention or if we're drilling a new hole, I'm not sure. Forty wells pump oil to the Flotta terminal in Orkney and Talisman see a considerable life ahead for Claymore. There's still a lot of oil left there to produce, so we see another 30 years of life for Claymore. Possibly more if we have some more ideas and innovations between now and then. Even on the older and iconic 40s field, the reserves have increased since BP sold it to the American company Apache five years ago. At the time when it was sold, the pre-developed reserves that were on the books were in the range of 150 million barrels. Um, we have since, in five years' time, produced right at 100 million barrels, which would take that balance down to 50 million barrels of the original 150 that, that were on the, on the books uh, under the acquisition. We ended last year with over 200 million barrels on the books. So reserves are up and 40s is producing more oil than anyone thought possible at this stage. The science and technology that's now available means that more of this oil will be produced. And at the current high prices, every barrel still in the ground.